Get your luck. The mess a man can get. of you that don't know, I'm Bilsif. I started to do something on the truck and I thought to myself, hey, you know what? People on YouTube might want to see this kind of shit. So I figured I'd stop, get the camera before I got too far and bring you along with me. So when I was out there the other day in the old square body of the 87 here, took it for a ride around the fairgrounds and stuff, turning it out and turn signals and whatnot, and this, that, and the other freaking things. I noticed that when I turn left, the signal don't come back. When it turn right, she's fine. So I'm gonna have to say it needs a return spring in the turn signal, I'm, I'm thinking. Dorman makes them, if you're wondering, right here. This will work on any square body you have. Maybe even the 88s and up too, I don't know. But you'll have to check it if that's what you're working on. But if you have a square body, this will work. 49312 is a number, Dorman number. So if you're looking for a return spring, there they are. They're not too bad. Let's get inside the truck here and see if we can't figure out how this thing comes apart. I'm pretty sure I can figure it out, but you never know. So I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can. The first thing you're going to have to do is there's two 7 mil screws that hold that thing on. And there's two clips. There's two clips at the top that kind of snap over here. And then that holds that on. So that can come off. Now this is a new style steering wheel that I hate. I want one of the old school ones, but I haven't found one yet. After that, there's a foam piece here that we could probably take out. Oh, maybe not. We're taking her out now. Girl! So anyways, we'll take this out. So that's kind of decked her over. There I did. And those pins look like they're broke too. So, hey, what the hell? Why wouldn't it be? So this steering wheel is kind of cocked over. But anyways, there's a little doohickey in here. A little spring thingy that you got to pull off. But I just got to use a pick tool here. And maybe two pick tools here. Just kind of yank right off there. Maybe. There it is. There we go. Doing a little clip thingy of bobber. So that's off. So now what we want to do is take the steering wheel itself off with bigger socks than what I brought. So you just hang on a second here. Don't mind me. I'm just going to reach across to here and see if we got the right sizes. There it is right there. How you doing? So now that we got the right size here, we should be able to I wonder if we can take that thing out so it stops honking at us. Yeah, there we go. Just turn that and twist it and it comes right out. And that way she won't be honking at us every five minutes. But we'll throw that on there. And we'll throw this not on here because I'm going to need a damn extension now. Frick. Hey, just a side note, if any of you guys are snap-on guys, I bought these new snap-on extensions that do the weeble wobble or the lock-in. They suck. Stay away from them. Doing a weeble wobble action. And you put any kind of pressure on it, she locks in. And then it doesn't weeble wobble. And it's a pain in the ass to get to stay. It doesn't stay in just weeble wobble mode. It always goes to lock mode. So stay away from them and just get either a weeble wobble or a lock. Don't go multi-purpose because they don't work for the dick. Careful. We might have to hand bomb this one, Jim. Let's get the, let's get the hand bomber out for this one. We don't want to break the new. Torque Master 300 there. Kind of should have left this truck maybe pulled in the garage because now I gotta walk 20 feet to get the freaking tools. But hey, it is what it is. Oh yeah, that thing is in there, Jim. That steering wheel wasn't coming off. Let me tell you what. I don't know if we can wiggle this off or not. Probably not. No, we're gonna need a puller. So let me go grab my puller now. If you don't have a puller, you might want to get a puller. I'm pretty sure I might even have a steering wheel puller. There it is right there. A little hammer fester. Hey, eh? good old Princess Auto. If you don't have a Princess Auto, it might be called Harbor Freight over on your side of the border. So there we go. So we'll get this thing out. And as you can see, she's got all sorts of the different kind of thing of offers you need to pull a steering wheel does. And like I said, you could probably wiggle the shit out of it and get her off. I ain't going to play that game. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to use a puller. And then we're gonna find the threads that go into the steering wheel here, which is probably these ones. Maybe, maybe not. Hold on. Nope, they're too big. Oh, what the hell? It doesn't have a smaller. Come on. You serious right now? Is that even them? 
Frig, they should be fine thread. That should be them. Oh, maybe it's these little guys here. Hold on, we got two more. What are these ones? Oh, well, they're too loose. What the fuck kind of polar set is this? So I'm gonna tell you right now that this polar set sucks. Dick. Unless it's these ones. I don't know, let's try them. Maybe we just need to get something on there and give her a little torque master here. I might as well take this with me because I'm gonna need other sockets now too. Hey, I'm back, did you miss me? Probably not. So let's start by trying to get these damn things in the hole. Bob, uh, pardon me. How you doing? There we go. Now we need the ratchet with the socket on there. Then we're gonna need the polar doodad. Thing of a bobber. We need to see if we can get this started in there, which I'm thinking it will. I'm gonna force it anyway, so we'll be mint. Oh yeah, she'll go in there. There we go, there's one. Get the other one in there. Maybe, you know what, we might have to go, we might have to go with a wide angle here. I got this inside out now, hold on a second here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Spin that around, put that the other way, would you? Shut up your ass, Captain. Okay, see if we can't pull a thread or two out of the steering wheel, or a steering wheel. That'd be all right, I wouldn't mind, would you? Probably not, why would you mind? All right, so there's one. We've got about five threads in there, which should be not even close to enough, but it is what it is. Now we'll get this one started, maybe. I have a feeling the steering wheel has had a really bad life it has. It feels like it's just gonna be dicked. It does. Oh, does it ever. What the fuck is really going on here? Hey, can you just stop that right now? I don't know what to tell you, boys. This thing just ain't right. It's not right. Let's get into something else here. Let's try these bolts over here. They feel the same to me. Oh no, they're better. Okay, that one works. Oh God. That's it. Now we just gotta get that one started in the other friggin' hole. This hole seems to be the cocked up hole. Oh, we got her. Just so you know, if you're doing this yourself, it's really easy to do. As you can tell. So we'll slap some holes in here. We'll give her the old one too. We don't need too many, just enough to make her level. There we go. That should be pretty close. And we'll slap this thing in. We'll give her the old wind up. Jim Dandy. How's this job gonna go? You tell me. You leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? I'll be fucking not at all dipped. All I know is the polar ain't in the right spot, I'll tell you that right now. This is going pretty good, wouldn't you say so? Chill out, the best a man can get. Hey, eh? I don't know where that come from, but it did. We might have her this time. She might be a little bit more squared up now. Let's see what happens. There she goes, Jim. Look at that, eh? Would you look at it? There's nothing worse than having a turn signal that won't automatically come off. Leave a comment down below if you have one. Leave a comment down below if you hate that too. Don't worry about the steering wheel, it only goes back on one way. There's a big groove on it, you can't mess it up. So if you take it off, don't worry, it won't only go back on the one way. Just in case anybody wants to comment below. I don't need the puller to put it back on, so. We're gonna put this away right now. So it worked, did what it's supposed to do. Might be a piece of shit, but hey, you can't deny it worked. You can't. So now that we're done that, on this thing, there's a ring in here somewhere that needs to come out. If I'm not mistaken, it's down in here somewhere. You gotta push on this, cause it's spring loaded for the horny Ruski. And then you gotta hold her down and try to get this pin out. Now they come out pretty easy, really. It's been a long time since I did one of these, so hopefully I'm doing this right. If I'm not, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I did wrong. Why wouldn't you? Come on, baby. She's coming. You can't rush a good thing here. Ow, my finger. Careful. Easy. Gentle. Careful. Oh, easy. Gentle. Oh, there she goes. So there's a little ring there that kind of holds that in. So now that will slide out like so. And that will only go back in one way as well. See, it will only go back in one way. So we'll get that out of the way. And then next, we can probably get this out of the way. There we go. There's a spring. 
that goes behind that. And that's where your horn hits this pin and it creates a beep beep. And that's what puts the feeder back in. But as you can see right now already, it's missing the spring. So the spring is gone on the return. Friggin' right, it's gone. So we're gonna need to put that in. And then Bob's your uncle. How does the spring totally just like go away? Like not, there's not even a trace of the spring in here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Something's coming. Oh, there might be a trace of the spring in here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, where are you? You better get that out of there. It's just gonna create havoc. Look at that, boys. There's part of a spring. Where's the other half? Down inside here, probably. But anyways, we got that out. Should we change it both while it's apart? Yes, we should. Always remember, boys, if it's apart and you got two new ones, change them out. So there's the old spring there. We'll set that aside. Bring out this bad boy. We'll put them down here. So we'll put the first one in first, which is this one. So there's a little hole in there, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Did you see that? Probably not. So if you look in here, there's a hole in a clip. So basically, it goes hole. Well, I'm trying to do this one hand. Can you see? Probably not. Hole, clip. That's it. That's all there is to the return springs, Jim. Friggin' right, that's all there is to it. So now that that's done, some people say this is a real pain in the ass to do, but I find it really freaking easy, actually, and relaxing all at the same fucking time. How is that even possible? It is. Trust me. It's possible. Do you believe me? I wouldn't. Let me grab a rag and we'll clean some of this stuff up as we put it back together. We'll slot that back in, like so. Hold on, we'll slot the spring back in like so. We'll slot that back on like so. We'll slot this back in like so, which goes this way. And like I said, it only goes on one way. And then we'll look for the spring, the clippy hooky thing. We'll slide that over like this, like so. And as we do it, we can push her back on. Maybe, if I didn't bend the shit out of it, which is possible because I am kind of dickered that way. Let's find out. I have to give her a tweet, boys, girls, peoples. Yeah, I kind of fucked her up here. Let me go straighten this out. Now, just put it in the vise and it will make it round again. Uh, also, if you want to do it and not get super frustrated, grab a pair of needle nose. Why wouldn't you? So there we go, that's in. So now we'll try it again. We'll get it started, first of all with some needle nose, maybe. I could be wrong, it might not work. It might just wanna irritate the shit out of me. But hey, you never know. Push her down, slide her in. Get in there, get in there. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. There she goes. You'll hear her click in place and that's it. She's in there. So now that's in there, we can put the steering wheel back on. Holy shit, boys, we're almost done this job. So once you put the steering wheel back on, it will only go on one way, like I said, right there. And we'll use a bolt to tighten her down. Captain, this thing is just cocked right over. This steering wheel's definitely been off a hundred times before. I'm telling you right now. Are they even telling you? I'm telling you. Do you believe me? Probably not. You gotta just take my word for it. Oh yeah, she's just not happy at all. Wow. This truck needs a new column. That thing is, she, boys, fucking right, but she's going. Let me go grab the old Johnson 5000. Give me one sec. I'm not gonna lie and beat around the bush. I haven't done this in a lot of years and I broke this, taking it off, because I just found the piece on the carpet down below. I'm using what they call plastic goo to glue her back together. And she should hold her. She's just holding the lid on, so we should be all right with that. This is what a couple dab will do is here, like so. And then we'll put that piece back on that I broke off, which is right here in my feet. That's how I know I did it. Cause here it is, can right in plain sight. So we'll stick that back on, like so. And then we'll give her some more of this stuff. This stuff works really good, by the way. I glued my panels that I snapped when I was doing the fur. Because you just look at them and they break. If you have an old truck like this, you'll know what I'm talking about. So there we go. That's it for that. This stuff's already hard to knock, Captain. Oh, lay, have an eye. That's what I'm using to glue the plastic. It works amazing. So get yourself some. If you have some plastic, you need to glue. So basically, all we have left to do now is just to put the uh, cover back on, which I'm not going to do. 
because I want to let that stuff dry up, but I can put the horn thing back in and we'll make sure that works still. There we go, ground. There we go, so that works. So we're good to go. Basically, you just gotta put this cap on, two 10 mil bolts, plug that in, and Bob's your friggin' uncle. So leave me a comment down below if you like this video, and if you wanna see more like this, just let me know in the comments, because I don't mind doing this. Hopefully everything works. It sure feels like, I can feel the spring in it now, so you should turn no problem, and Bob's your friggin' uncle, so. Glad you're all here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.